A state report obtained by Eight on Your Side shows medical neglect played a role in the death of a teenager in Polk County. She was attending a boarding school in Lakeland. Eight on Your Side's Polk County reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from outside the school. And Stacy, what can you tell us? Well, Jennifer, yeah, we're here outside Lakeland Girls Academy, also known as Teen Challenge. 17 year old Naomi Wood arrived here from Vermont last year. Records show she died after getting sick and never seeing a doctor. Naomi Wood is described as a girl with an infectious smile, a love for the beach, and maple cotton candy. Upon her death, her family wrote on their business website, quote, it's been the hardest thing for our family to go through and still seems impossible. Aid on Your Side obtained the child fatality report from the Florida Department of Children and Families. It found inadequate supervision and medical neglect contributed to her death. Wood arrived at Lakeland Girls Academy in February 2020. In April 2020, according to the report, Wood began complaining of chronic stomach pains. The staff reportedly gave her Pepto-Bismol 20 times prayed for her but never called the doctor. In May, she started vomiting, was found unresponsive the following evening, and was pronounced dead. And I was like, something is off with this um, situation. Grace Coburn attended the academy a few years before Wood. She said medical attention was hard to come by. It rubs me the wrong way that she was clearly so needing help and she was asking for help for months and she was ignored. Aid on your side reached out to school leaders about the state report. We have yet to hear back from the school. So I also reached out to the Polk County Sheriff's Office today. They say this case is still open and under review by the state's attorney's office. We, of course, will let you know if and when the academy gets back to me. Jennifer? And Stacy, it's been a year since Naomi died. In that year, has anything changed at the school? Well, Jennifer, according to the state report, they have added a medical coordinator position and students must be taken to the ER or urgent care if they have symptoms that persist for three days or more. Jennifer? All right, Stacey De Silva reporting live in Lakeland. Thank you.